What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. Today we have a very important topic to talk about because it's something that every guy should be doing, especially now in quarantine. I could only imagine, and I don't want to picture this, but the situations that are happening from your neck down. And this is a very important topic to discuss and I feel like this is the perfect timing to do that because before you step out, you have to take care of some business. So let's go ahead and begin this video right now. When it comes to when or when a man should shave other than his facial hair and how to incorporate it into his routine, there are many mixed reviews online and still a debate on what manscaping actually means. Think about it like this. Manscaping is doing your due diligence and taking care of areas on your body that can get very sticky and messy and or cause you to be very unhuggable. So how is one supposed to know where to manscape? Anywhere your hair grows. Think about it. Imagine getting a haircut without the barber cleaning up around your ear or edging the neck and letting your sideburns go completely natural. It's not going to be an ideal look whatsoever. And this goes for the same in other areas in your body. So where should you trim? Your neck, your back, your chest, mid torso, lower torso, and some men might even need to shave their shoulders. So that being said, this video is brought to you guys by Manscaped.com. The only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. That means you can expect only the best products made from the best materials to give you the best grooming experience possible. And now guys, you can get 20% off plus free international shipping plus two free gifts when you use the promo code Carlos Rob at manscaped.com. And don't worry about it. You can screen grab this or down below in the link will be everything you need. And what you're gonna get is a new lawnmower 3.0 water resistant trimmer, plus all of these great add-ons that you see here when you buy the Perfect Package 3.0 Essential Kit by Manscaped. Trust me, your balls will thank you. So let's go back and get into this grooming routine. So step one, take a good look at yourself, preferably naked in front of the mirror and be honest with yourself. Is it too busy down there? And quite frankly, if you're probably watching this, the answer is very obvious. Now there are two things that you could do. Number one is taking a trimmer like the Lawnmower 3.0 with a guard and shave down some bulk on your lower abdominal region. No need for a big bush. Now onto the question, should I shave my sack? Absolutely. This is where a lot of the top questions stem from due to men complaining about cutting themselves or not wanting to do so because they have too much hair and don't know where to start. My advice is to start before a shower. To trim off the hair with a trimmer, start with a guard and work your way using no guard at all. And remember, we're still talking about your ball sack. Once in the shower, get steamy, wash any hair off, and with shaving cream, begin shaving your area with the grain. You're gonna have to pull and tug your area out and down, so treat it like a science experiment in the shower, and you could do some social experimenting outside of it safely. Once you get into a routine, you can easily retouch your region every week or so, and it will become second nature, and it could be done while showering. Make your life easier, make sure you have all the tools needed for you to have a seamless process. Check out manscaped.com for your every man need. So when it comes to this topic, guys, it's really no need for shame. This is a thing that men now do, and there's brands like Manscaped that are aimed towards helping us facilitate this routine much easier. So there is no need to feel shame or go buy the wrong products when there is someone who is making these products specifically for this task. So make your task much easier and don't be afraid to explore and make some changes. So line up your sack and don't gel your sack up. Don't use any hair product down there. What you need to do is use the preserver right here. So it's going to keep your balls smelling good and clean, especially after you're playing sports or after a shower, you wanna make sure that your balls always smell good. And this is a ball deodorant. So you put deodorant underneath your armpits. I really hope so. And you should be putting some deodorant on your balls. Also, instead of using cologne on your balls, you could go ahead and use this reviver right here, which smells like eucalyptus and it just helps provide a very nice, fresh feeling after you've sweated or done sports or had a very long drive in the car because we know what happens when that sun hits. So make sure you guys take advantage of this Manscaped deal because it's amazing. And trust me, I've been using this for a very long time now and it's never done me any bad. So make sure you check them out, manscaped.com. Everything will be down below in the comment section. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about manscaping and if you are 100% committed to it or if you're still on the line and not sure if you want to commit to it because it is very important and it is a topic that every guy should be discussing. Don't forget to be nice to everyone. Be nice to your neighbor. Give free smiles out and don't forget to put style on everything. I'll see you guys very soon. 
Peace out.